Oh, the classwork. No, no, that's not. That's just pra that's just actually practicing your notes. Um, so, ladies and gentlemen, I talked about there's two formulas that we talked about. Got it? Two formulas we talked about. The sum of interior angles is n minus 2 times 180. That's for a polygon. The measure of one interior angle is n minus 2 times 180 divided by n. Right? So in this problem, they say that one angle is worth 100, or one angle has the measurement of 108 degrees. So which formula do you think I'm going to want to use? The sum of all the angles or the measure of one angle? The measure of one angle, because that they give us the measurement of that one angle. So I'm not going to worry about that end. So they're telling us pretty much what they're saying is the measure of one angle is equal to that i. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, all right, 108i equals n minus 2 times 180 divided by n. And then what they're asking us is find the number of sides. So what represents the number of sides? n. n represents the number of sides, right? So I need to solve for n. Now, guys, going back to your Algebra 1 class, when we're solving for a variable, we have to get that variable isolated, right, by itself. Well, the first thing we need to do is we need to get off the denominator. So how can I get it off of the denominator? What inverse operation can I use? Amber? Multiply by n on both sides, right? So what I'll do is I'll multiply by n on both sides. Therefore, I have 108n equals n minus 2 times 180 degrees, because n divided by n just goes into 1. Now, what I can do is I can apply the distributive property. And therefore, I have 108n equals 180n minus 360. Okay. And now, we have a variable on both sides. So to get the variable, to get the variable off both sides, we have to go and add or subtract to get them on the same side. Now, usually what I like to do, ladies and gentlemen, is you know, we can just subtract this over, subtract this over to there just to uh, get them onto the same side. Um, and that's what I'll do. I'll subtract 180n. Therefore, that's going to give me a negative 72n equals negative 360. Yes? You can. It, it, there's, you could subtract the 108 over there and then add 360 to the other side. There's not a problem with that either. Um, but it doesn't, it doesn't have to be one way or the other. You can really choose. Then I'll just divide by negative 72. And therefore, n equals? Anybody? Anybody? Well, what is 7 times 5? 35. 35. So 5 times 70 would be 350. Then you have a 2. 5 times 2 is 10. 360. So n equals 5. Therefore, if every individual angle is equal to 108 degrees, if each individual angle is equal to 108 degrees, you then have a, what do we name a five-sided figure? Pentagon. Pentagon. Very good. No, it's positive. Because a negative, 